Hello and welcome back. Let's go over some of the common Google Apps that you will be using. So once you're logged into your Chromebook, uh, you're gonna open a tab and it generally brings you to the Google homepage. There's multiple ways to access apps. The easiest way is to click the waffle or grid on the far right. So when I click this, it's gonna give me a drop down of the common apps that I use. And so for the first one, let's check out Gmail. I'm gonna click here. It's gonna open my Gmail account. So as a student, I can see the emails that I have. And to compose an email, I'm just gonna click here and make sure I type in an address on who I'm sending it to. Next, let's take a look at Google Drive. I'm gonna click the waffle. I'm gonna click Drive. And it's gonna bring me to my Google Drive. Just so you understand, Google Drive is your storage. Everything is stored in the cloud and you never have to worry about running out of space. On the Drive page, you could see things are organized by folder and by individual file type. Without going into too many details, when we click New, you have an option to create a new folder. That's a good idea for your specific classes. In addition, these are the three most common apps you will use as a student. You have your Google Docs, your Google Sheets, and Google Slides. I'm gonna go over those individually. Now let's check out Google Docs. I'm gonna click the waffle. I'm gonna choose Docs. Google Docs is a word processing document. You could either start with a blank document or you could check out the template gallery where they have ones that are preset and they're very helpful. Again, you can use Google Docs for notes, reports, so on and so forth. Let's take a look at Google Slides. Google Slides are used for creating presentations. You could create a blank presentation from scratch, or you can go to the template gallery. They have a lot of awesome preset templates. Within the slide presentation, you have the ability to create beautiful slides to present to your teacher and fellow classmates. Sometimes you will use Google Sheets. Google Sheets are a great way to create inventories and lists. To help stay organized, you definitely want to use your calendar. When you open your calendar, you have various views. A lot of people stick to the week-long view. To create an event, you could either click this plus button here, or you could double click on a particular day and time to add an event. Another organizational tool is Google Keep. Within Google Keep, you have post-it notes to where you could jot down your thoughts and ideas. And last but not least, we have Google Classroom. After you click the Google Classroom icon, it will bring you to your Google Classroom home screen where you can see the different classrooms that you attend. You could choose one, you could see announcements and assignments that your teacher has posted. Okay, that's all for now. 